In this tutorial, you'll learn about the main features of the sitemap and how to use them in combination with other tools. Open Burp's browser and use it to access the following lab. The lab is entitled Excessive Trust in Client-Side Controls. Click Access the Lab and log into your Portswigger account if prompted. This opens your own instance of a deliberately vulnerable website. In Burp, go to the Target Sitemap tab. Then expand the contents of the node that represents the vulnerable lab website. As you can see, Burp has already started to populate the sitemap. Notice that some items are grayed out. Burp predicts that these items exist, but your browser hasn't completed a request response cycle for them yet. This is probably because the URL appears in another response that you received already. The sitemap updates automatically as you browse. If it's a particular grayed out item that you're interested in, you can copy the URL from the sitemap and paste it into Burp's browser. The sitemap tab contains various panels that show different information, such as the first request and response for each item. If you're using Burp Suite Professional, you'll also see a list of any security issues that Burp Scanner identifies. Select a node in the sitemap. Notice that the information in the panels is now filtered based on the selected node. The sitemap also makes it easy to set the target scope for Burp. Right click on the top level node for the, for the lab and select add to scope. When prompted to stop proxying out of scope traffic, click yes. You might want to exclude specific paths and subdirectories that you're not interested in from the scope. Right click on the node for resources, images and select exclude from scope. Now go to the target scope tab. You can see that the entire domain for the lab is in scope, but the resources image directory is excluded. You can also delete any items that you're not interested in from the sitemap tab. These might be domains that were added before you set the scope. Select the items, right click and select delete.